No, so this uh this video is a continuation of a previous video regarding you now this bloody hybrid architecture, no Intel hybrid architecture. So I guess I'm not the only one that is having this problem or had this problem. I recall when I got my computer, an amazing system, but then nothing was, was was running, everything was running super slow. So remember that this hybrid architecture has this performance efficiency core and it seems to go go run everything will go in the efficiency core and will be super so i mentioned that it doesn't matter your your computer at all i spent a lot of money in this amazing computer the pro r studio book and then nothing was running so i almost returned my computer to get my money back and i just say okay let me give it give it a shot to see if i manage to to solve the problem kind of i think i managed but from time to time i get some issues but it doesn't matter the brand also racer i have the opportunity to put my hands here exactly the same problem also have the opportunity to do in lenovo same problem and as well in a desktop computer so this is something proper of this the hybrid architecture and it's something that yeah intel windows linux they need to work together to get it working so usually the creators application they do work like video editing that is tough they work but they, then now here we're talking about cfd okay so those applications in my case now the terminal windows existing linux launching open for no probably fluent that i have here all these applications now outliers they go and they start to use efficient, which by the way, all the machine learning and stuff in Python all runs fine. I guess everything is, is, is using the GPU. So you don't have any problem there, but here the, my cat tools, machine tool, not all cat tools, by the way, I, I, I SolidWorks works fine. Then the one uh, space screens give problems. Then the whole stuff in Nancy give problems. Machine tools give problems. Visualization tools also give problems by our view. So the way to solve that problem I already mentioned, and this is the, 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 the first thing is that you have to do, whatever you're going to launch, just right click and then run as administrator. I have to say that 90, 95% of the time that solved my problems. Then if you still have problems, you can raise you now a little bit you now uh this the, the the priority you go here in the task manager you now and you go into details look for that that task and try to set the priority there you have real time okay you can increase it so real time will give the maximum priority or also you can try to to set affinity to the specific core so usually the first in this case i have eight cores so i know that the first 15 no, the, ca the counter start start from zero are the are my performance so i try just to set that affinity but this is a little bit annoying because each time you need to do it you can schedule this you have a, a screen cell but i don't waste time there because already i know that if i launch as administrator it's very likely that it's going to fix my problem if i still that have that problem Trying to set everything in task manager can kind of can solve my problem. Uh, so the other thing that I want to show you now is specific to the computer. So a few people ask me about this is the same system, the ASUS that they don't have anything working, and the same will be for the Razor also. So remember when you get this port of it, talking about the port of it, the, the manufacturer, you know, the OEM is going to put some applications. So let me show you one of the issues that you might have. Here is you have this same system, also race or whatever. Look at for those applications. So here in device system, you have settings, you have many stuff installed. So you need to start to disable soon. So here we go into this application. So battery care mode doesn't give you problems. This one, it gives you problems. So if you enable this one, likely everything will, will, will start to work in the efficiency core. Don't know why. So this is something to switch automatically between the discrete GPU and the other one. So I fix everything to discrete GPU. Okay, I don't care about energy consumption and actually the, everything related to energy, it's saving energy, you know, reducing energy consumption is going to give you problems. And this is kind of related to that. Uh, the noise canceling microphone also can give you problems, but this is something that I only use when I'm recording, when I'm running simulations. Uh, I'm not using this, so I leave it on, but ha have in mind that this might give you problems, okay, because this AI stuff is going to take priority over a everything and can reduce the clock speed. Uh, this one, well, 
I haven't done the benchmarking, but maybe it can have an influence. Then some Moses doesn't have any influence. Volume booster also doesn't have any influence. And this is also important. And I have to say, I don't know my next computer, if it's, if it's going to be one of these uh, hybrid architecture. Honestly, I will go for, I think so far, we'll go for an a AMD, a standard architecture. They don't have this hybrid. Or probably if Intel fix this, Maybe we'll go for another Intel, but something also that I would think about is the OLED panel. The OLED panel, honestly, it's fantastic the resolution of this computer and all all the racers and everything. But you need to take care of that computer, and there are many options that to switch off the panel and whatever. And you, when you switch off the screen, that is going also to reduce the priority, and it's going to give you problems. So here in Asus, they give you this screensaver that it will start every 30 minutes. So this one, the second that it starts, it's going to reduce the priority of every task that you are running. So if you're running your simulations, boom, the clock speed is going to go down. So here I leave it on because, you know, I kind of worry about my, my screen. I, I want it to, to last long. But if you are going, you know that you're going to run simulations, switch off this one because the minute that it starts, boom. You, you clock speed goes down. Also, these auctions uh, doesn't have an external influence, but this is the most important. Okay, but just stress this all like a screen requires a lot of care. So honestly, I prefer I, I thinking honestly, the next computer I'm going to go for a standard screen that doesn't need all this care. So all these auctions, they don't give you any problems, but still no, this taking care of your screen. This one is important. And this one, if you put it there, what it's doing is this. Now, reducing the intensity, whatever is in the background. And guess what? If you have your task running here, but you're fluent, open phone, whatever, your meshing tool, when you do this one, you are reducing, when you do this one, you're reducing the priority. So disable this. And by default, all these actions that I'm showing you when you get your computer, at least as soon as they can enable. So we go here. Okay, well, I put 60. This is, doesn't have an influence. This stuff, the camera, I switch it off. I think it doesn't have an influence. I don't know, but I don't use the camera when running simulation. So that's all. This is important. Task first also. Maybe here you have something set priority for priority for gaming, multimedia, whatever. So Asus will recognize that application. I will give it priority. And guess what? All these simulation tools that are not included in any of these actions. So by default, if you enable any of these actions, then everything that you use to do your simulation, your CAD, your CAI workflow is not going to work with the highest priority. So switch it off. Uh, this is not important, not important, not important. And now this presence the, the detection disable everything. So this is a stuff like, again, this goes to the camera. You have the camera and automatically detect if you are in front of that and so on. So if you are not in front of your screen, boom, it's going to launch the, the the screensaver or do something else or disable all this stuff. Okay, so yeah, uh, some people ask me about this and yeah, try to 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 set up this as I have here and I think it will fix your problem. The same will be with Resource Dell. I also have a Dell and they have the same application, so I have to disable all this stuff to avoid that problem. So this is talking about uh, the specific in, in uh, laptop. All this stuff, if you have a desktop or you assemble your own desktop maybe you don't have in that case you need to go now to the operating system so the other so we went to the specific options of the on and now let's go to the operating system windows and i have to say i think i will do something in, in linux because linux is even worse okay you are going to have the same stuff i read that the new kernel kind of tried to mitigate this issue but you still have it so look at the the options in windows and look for power options and this is very important. Windows also there, they give you energy recommendations. And I know this very well because it, it took me a while to find this one. Here they are suggesting something. And by default, they're going to suggest to enable everything. And look at that, everything is related to energy efficiency, okay, saving energy and so on. So disable all this stuff because any of these options is you enable is going to okay, it's going to reduce this the clock speed. So you 
simulations are going to run really slow. So here, well, self-explanatory, power mode for base energy efficiency, okay? Then also a screen brightness. So the second also is quite funny. Honestly, I don't understand. You reduce the brightness or your screen switch off or you start the screen saver or for, for some reason, all the applications goes to background and in foreground remains that screen saver or whatever. So I find it quite funny. I don't know. I don't know if there is a way to avoid that. If somebody knows, just let me know in the comments. All this stuff disabled. This one, they don't give problems. So I leave it, leave it on. Well, this is important. Turn off a screen saver. So be sure to have a screen saver off. The one from Asus, but also the one from Windows because you have now too different. So recall that in my case in Asus, you, you, you have that one and maybe also, I know Razer also have something. So disable that stuff that is always related to this all that care. So this is what I have here. And then important also here, power mode. Okay. By default, if you enable all that option, it's going to go power efficiency. This is really bad. You're going to have problem. I leave it in balance, but as you know that you're going to launch your simulations, put here best performance, and that will, will be okay. Be careful to be sure, absolutely sure that this never screen goes off or put your device to sleep, never. So when you are plugged in or is the one you can disable, never, even when you are in battery. So it's up to you. Okay, but be careful to have that. Best performance here is one, okay? So you said a little bit balanced for me, it's okay. And that's all for these energy auctions. Then if this is not enough for you, you have this Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, and here you can do some stuff also. So uh, reading the specifications, whatever, I read somewhere that is possible, at least in my computer that I can overclock this processor, but when I enter here, it is not possible. I don't know if I'm missing something, but here you can do that overclocking, but as you don't have it, so here you have it. Uh, you can also do some, some tuning, turbo boost and so on to avoid uh, those problems. So you can just uh, increase a little bit now the performance at your own risk. So you can do something in this train tuning utility here. Uh, I did some, some testing and yeah, you, you can increase your velocity speed, but this is not the solution to that problem that everything is running in efficiency. Here you are just getting more juice out of your processor, but be careful. Uh, I couldn't overclock everything, all, all these auctions that can go to overclock. I couldn't get access. Maybe I'm missing something in the volumes. I don't know, but yeah, that's it. And well, also there are some other auctions. So for instance, power, I think here, the, your power plan, but it's pretty much what I, we saw here, but this is the old windows interface. But if you go here also advanced power settings, you can get access here to process of power management also. So maybe also you can have, maybe, maybe, it might be the case that in your default configuration of your system, this is 80%. So I recall that my Dell computer, my Dell system have it for whatever reason, 80%. So that was reducing also the, the clock speed. And, well, in the end, everything is related now to these energy saving actions and so on. Um, finally, uh, display system, remember to always, well, already mentioned, but always disable that, that bloody screen saver. Well, it's not here screensaver you have it so on says yeah you have it here always disable this because also the windows screensaver is you have it enabled is going to to put everything in background okay so yeah these are yours i went to the rabbit hole so have this in mind is you you are an asus user and you have that problem i think you, you should focus here then focus in the specific options of windows avoid that those suggestion of windows that energy saving whatever Okay, unless you are really, really conscious about saving the environment and whatever, and you want to do your contribution, but pretty much I think this is not going to help much to save you now the train global warming, warning, uh, warming. Uh, but yeah, and yeah, the and the extreme action will be coming here to Intel extreme tuning utility. Well, that's all. Thank you. And well, if you have comments, by the way, if you have comments about this, if you find having problems or you have the, you know, the solution that it, to keep your applications in foreground, even if you have your, 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 
your screen saver or you switch off your screen. For instance, I like to switch off my screen and I have this small screen here. So when I launch it, switch off the screen, but then everything goes background. So if you know a solution to that, uh, just let me know. Okay. And just let's see. By the way, I forgot to mention that in Asus, there is this application. Let me show you the Launch Pro Creator Hut. So this is specific for Asus. Maybe also the other will have something like this. So here also it's important that you can uh, modify something. So for instance, you can control your fans. So as you go for, this is related energy savings. So as you're going to run simulation, so put it in full speed and that also will keep the whole system on maximum, running to the maximum. Be careful that the, the fan in the oldest computer is it's very loud. So this is what I do. I run the simulation. Put it, I know that I'm going to run simulations. So I put it here full speed. And there is something really cool that I have here that you have performance optimization. And here you have this uh, application power priority. Always look at that. All this stuff is related to energy savings. So here you can force some applications to to get the maximum priority. So likely some other other oh and will have this so look at that well it's basically telling you what is happening so whatever applications that you put here always will get the maximum priority so here i'm putting all those applications that are giving me problems so fluent the terminal preview the terminal window no this is when the windows exists in linux and also being where where i have no the virtualization so basically virtualization my cfd tools i don't have in this one the machine tool but as soon as you install will put it so i put it here and this one will give me room uh, to a maximum of six applications that the operating system ASUS will always keep everything using the, the maximum resources. I guess this one is controlling not to avoid uh, any conflict with the other options that you have here, the screen saver and so on. I haven't tested, but I guess that is what it's going to do. So if you have access to something like this, you, you can also come here and, and enable those options. Okay, so that's all. So hopefully the, the guys from Intel will come with a better solution to this issue with the hybrid core. So it's, it's honestly, it's, it's, it's better, very, very, very annoying. So as I mentioned, likely my next system will be AMD. I will try to avoid OLED screens or maybe something that doesn't require so, so much care, but every computer will have that issue. So thank you for your attention and hope, hope to see you next time. Bye.